Okay, Pixar, I need to know. When did Mike and Sully meet? Because obviously in this movie they meet in college. But on Monsters, Inc., Mike says to Sully, You've been jealous of my good looks since the fourth grade, pal. Which one is it? Inconsistencies aside, let's talk some Monsters University. So obviously this is a prequel to Monsters, Inc., which came out in 2001. Oh jeez, it's been 12 freaking years since that came out. And I saw it in theaters. I feel old. Monsters, Inc. is my favorite Disney Pixar movie, so of course I was really excited for Monsters University to come out. I guess I didn't really have high expectations for it. I was excited, of course, but I guess I just didn't expect it to be better than Monsters, Inc. Which I guess is a good thing because it's not. But still really good, and it's really sweet, and really cute, and really, really funny. If you can get your G-rated kids movie to make me laugh almost the entire way through, that's awesome. Good job, movie. Which is more than I can say for the teen and adult comedy movies that have been coming out recently, or just in the last couple of years. A kids movie makes me laugh more. Step up your game, teen and adult movies. I did have some problems with it, though. The main one being the development with Randall. Now, we know Randall in Monsters, Inc. Was, is one of the main villains. So, of course, he's going to be featured somehow in Monsters University. This isn't a really big spoiler or anything since we know the outcome of Randall in Monsters, Inc. But in Monsters University, Mike and Randall start off as roommates and as friends. And when I saw that, I was like, oh, that's really, that's cool, but it's sad because, you know, they're not going to be friends. I wonder how that's going to happen. I wonder how they're going to do that. And then when they showed it, it... Disappointment. It just kind of happens that Randall and Mike are friends anymore. But they could have made it so much more deep and tragic. Like, Pixar's really good at doing that. But no, I guess they just saw the Randall thing as a side note so they can focus more on the Mike and Sully relationship. Which I get. But you could have put more of an effort into that Randall story. Very missed opportunity. I wonder if any of you guys felt like that too. Well, that was the main thing I had a problem with. Everything else was pretty good. I liked the new characters that were introduced. The Dean Principal Lady, voiced by Helen Mirren, was a bitch. The fraternity that Mike and Sully ended up joining is really funny. I, I really liked those characters. And of course, Nathan Fillion playing the douchebag was perfect. No, he was really funny. That was great. And again, just some really fun and hilarious moments. When I saw it with my sister, the theater was full of children. I think we were the only kind of adult people there that didn't bring kids with them to watch a movie. But hey, we're kids at heart, so it still counts. All in all, I'm gonna give Monsters University a nice, which is a four out of five stars. Let me know what you thought of the movie, if you liked it, if you thought it was better than Monsters, Inc., if you thought that they should have just made Monsters, Inc., and that's it. Uh, please let me know. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And also let me know if there are any particular movies or TV shows that you would like me to review. And also if you have suggestions of other things I could do besides movie reviews and rants and discussions. I've been considering starting to play games, but I don't know if I should do that. I have amnesia on my computer, which I haven't played the whole way through, so I, that would be fun. But yeah, let me know if, if you would like to see that. Okay, that's it for me. Hope you guys are doing great, and I'll see you soon. Toodles! Waka waka!